Hi, Erin to Bees. It's me, Sandy. How you doing? Is it hot enough? Holy cow. Just when I thought that the heat wave was over and it's back. Not as bad because now at least we have some breeze that is coming through. Thank goodness. Oh, but I'm still just like, you know, like, and it's like, the beginning of July. Hello. Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? I found that yesterday I had some energy and I was up and I was doing dishes and I was, you know, I went door dashing for a little while and I was having a great day. And today I'm just like ugh, absolutely drained of energy. So yay. I don't know if it's menopause or if it's the heat or a combination or I don't know, but I'm not liking it. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, so I have a few things to talk about. Not a lot, but I haven't talked to you guys in a little bit. So I just thought I'd come on and say, hi, you know, <laughs> talk about useless stuff, right? Um, one thing I, I wanted to show you was something that I made that I'm just absolutely thrilled about and you may have seen it on my um, community tab and my Facebook page and my Instagram oh my goodness can you see look and he's got a little tail isn't he just precious if I do say so myself but I can't take all the credit because it was not my pattern. Um, I learned a new stitch and that's the loop stitch. Wow. It can be a little eh, like when you're getting to the end and you're closing it off, it can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> no butts intended. Um, but, uh, but the rest of it wasn't so bad once I figured out what I was doing. And it just made him look, oh, just made him look adorable. Just absolutely adorable. The eyes really made it. And of course, those are eyes from Dark Side Eyes on Facebook. I will leave that link down below. Uh, and yeah, like he's just so cute. <laughs> I just can't handle it. He's so adorable. I'm going to have to make more. I'm going to have to make more because you're just so cute. Yes, he is. So I'm calling him Harry. Because it's hair. Get it? Harry? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so I used Barcelona. I'm, I think you can still get this. It's Barcelona in the color Hazel. So, and then I, for his face, I used Serenity Chunky, uh, in the color Pristine. So, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be making more. I have a few different colors of eyes and, you know, it's really funny because I was on, um, Crystal from Ricola. Mm, keep wanting to say aka no Rico ricola's crochet corner uh, i was on her live a few days ago and we were talking about these eyes and how she got eyes that were way bigger than what she was expecting and i got eyes that were smaller than what i was expecting um i was expecting eyes that were mm, you know a significant amount bigger than this like mm, maybe a few millimeters bigger uh, and she was expecting them to be a few millimeters smaller. <laughs> but that's okay because I found a use for it. So I will definitely be um, making a couple more of these little guys. Um, I was also, when I was door dashing, I had a, I put a bottle of water in the freezer so that I would have something cold to drink in my car. Have you ever had that when you've done something like that or you had a cold drink in your car and the condensation from it goes in your car 
makes a mess all over the place and you're going oh where's the napkins so that you can mop it up and put them the, did that underneath your cup <sighs> Dis just disaster so i decided to make these and they're really easy all i did was um a magic circle and i did six half double crochets and then i did two no three rounds of increases and that's it and now i can put that in my cup holder i can put my drink in it on it and this will absorb all that moisture so i made a few of those i even made one for the beside my chair because i'm finding that i'm putting my frozen stuff or like if i get a starbucks or whatever and i put it beside my chair and the condensation goes all over the place and it that runs everywhere <laughs> so you're getting your books and your yarn and your hooks and everything wet so yeah i got smart <laughs> uh what else um i got a couple of things in on amazon that i was looking into i suffer from acid reflux disease and i have like oh horrible horrible acid reflux so i have to take medication for it i take two different types of medication and without those medications i would be in the hospital um and they would be giving me what's called a pink lady which is like gross chalky yucky stuff but it's got a numbing agent in it that fairy <laughs> um, it has a numbing agent in it so it keeps me from throwing up because with my acid reflux I I throw up a lot so it's yeah not good when I have an attack it's not good so I found out that doing an alkaline diet would help that so I was looking into it now I can't do a full alkaline diet there is just no way like any other kind of diet, you know, it's not sustainable. With the alkaline diet, they don't want you eating meat. They don't want you eating uh, dairy. They don't want you, like, there's a whole host of things that you cannot eat. So just like when I was doing keto, I was doing, doing lazy keto. I think I'm going to do lazy alkaline because I just, I, I can't do it. So anyways, I ordered a couple books on Amazon. And I was flipping through them. Now, um, I'm not sure, but Z, Zelda, NRJ3, she was just starting on something that I just found out about. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm not sure if she's doing the alkaline diet. I'm not sure. But anyways, I picked up this book. This guy, he's not a real doctor, found that out by reading this book. Um, but his alkaline diet is known all around the world. And thousands of people are doing it. I looked through this book. I don't find it sustainable for me. Number one, can't find the ingredients, like some of the ingredients for certain things. Um, but... <sighs> It's just absolutely like crazy. Like if you're doing it, let me know how you're doing because man, I just, I absolutely can't figure this out because on one hand he's saying, okay, all this stuff is acidic and you shouldn't have it. But yet in his recipes, they're in there. So I'm really confused. Um, so this is a 30 day, 30 day? Yeah, it's a 30 day meal plan. And uh, I looked at some of the recipes and I'm going, mm -hmm. okay, uh, but, um, where is it here? Like here, week one, 
Day one, Banafee crumble, avocado seeds for lunch. Okay, the Banafee crumble, whatever that is, is for breakfast. Avocado seeds for lunch. Cabbage, cabbage zucchini salad for dinner. Okay. Day two, cabbage dill salad for breakfast. Elderberry tea for lunch. Okay. And cucumber onion salad for dinner. It just goes on and on and on. And I'm just like, yeah, okay. I don't eat much during the day. I just eat dinner pretty much. But if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat something, right? Like I just, I can't have tea for lunch. Like, I don't know. But anyways, I got this book as well. And this book explains it, it explains it in a way I can understand it. There's a bit of technical scientific jargon that goes along with it. But the recipes in here um, are really good. And the, um, I mean, some stuff like I can't eat, like there's no way uh, I can eat it, but um, like oregano, oh, oregano will send me to the hospital. I, I can't handle it. Um, I, I, I'll start throwing that stuff up. But, uh, but they, they explain everything. They even have a list of things that are alkaline, how much alkaline, and things that are acidic. And that's what I was looking for. So the other book, I'm not interested in. But this book seems to be okay. Because basically, I don't want to be on a diet. I don't want to be on like a full-on diet. What I want is to find alkaline foods that I can eat that aren't going to send me to the hospital. Because if I have cooked tomatoes, I can't have pizza, right? Because that will just kill me. Uh, any kind of cooked tomato, mm -mm. but yeah, I can eat fresh tomatoes. And the reason for that is because when you cook tomatoes, it puts, makes it into an acid. That's the kind of stuff I need to know. And this book seems to do that for me. So this is on Amazon. It's called The Alkaline, Line, the Alkaline Diet by Julian, uh, Julian Hearn. Julian Hearn? Yeah. I would put the link down below, but it would end up being a Canadian link. And most of my yarn of bees are from the U.S. So you just have to look this up. And I'm sure that you'll find it if you're interested. So yeah, that's interesting. So going on the, the, the Zelda kick and the alkaline diet kick, I was on Sandy left is right crochets live and not last live, but it was the live before I think. And she was talking about, um, a Z and how Z started taking CMOS. And how I haven't watched Z's videos in quite a while. I might have to go back and start watching them. Um, but she was talking about how she was going on. She was taking CMOS and how it transformed her. Like she has RA. She has like Z has a host of things wrong with her that she is dealing with. And RA is one of them. And I was like, hmm. Okay, let's check this out. So I did my own research on CMOS. Holy cow. There's a lot of benefits from CMOS. And one of them was acid reflux and weight loss. And I went, cha-ching, yes, I'm ordering some. So I went on Amazon and I bought this CMOS. Now, I wanted to get CMOS gel, but they don't ship that stuff because there's an expiration date on it. Once this stuff is made into a gel, you have three to four weeks to use it and it has to be refrigerated. So I thought, okay, well, it can't be that hard to make the gel. And to tell you honestly, it's not. 
it's not hard at all. I watched a bunch of videos and they're all basically the same, but they have little tweaks and quirks and stuff. Some people boil there, some people don't. They say that if you boil it, it pulls out a lot of the nutrients. Sea moss apparently has 90 or 92 out of the 102 vitamins and minerals that the body needs. Um, and it's good for a whole host of stuff. I'll put a few links down below to, ex to uh, explain what sea moss is and some of the benefits of it um, if you're interested. Now, I did do a little video clip on how I prepared this. Uh, I'm not finished it yet, um, so I will have to finish editing all that and then um, put it up. But it's really, really easy. Okay, so I made it into the gel and, and uh, I put it in the fridge and I was really nervous. I actually sent some to my daughter, Tia, and I was like, here, you try it first. <laughs> so she did. And she says, mom, it's really easy. And it doesn't taste like anything because I thought, oh, sea moss, it's going to taste like salt, like the ocean and fishy and all that kind of stuff. But it doesn't at all. When you put it into the gel, it comes out to like a, an applesauce consistency. And it, it doesn't taste like anything. The only thing it tastes like is the lime that I put in it, right? Because you put lime in it to combat any smell or taste. And um and it helps keep it fresh so that's all i tasted was the the um lime so that's good uh but i first day i put it in a smoothie didn't taste anything right down that puppy i put it in my um uh evive smoothies that i got that i did videos on way back um and it didn't taste it at all, right? You can use it as a thickening agent in your foods, um, you know. So, because it when you when you mix it, it thickens fast. It goes from liquid to gel like really fast. <laughs> so um, now what I'm doing is I'm taking a tablespoon and just putting it in my mouth, swallowing it, and then chasing it with some juice or, or some water or whatever. Uh, and yeah. So day, it's day two and I haven't had any issues. I'm, I haven't had diarrhea. I haven't had like any, anything. I haven't had any issues. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see how I feel and I will keep you posted. Okay. Um, oh, I guess, do you, you want to see what it looks like? You might want to see what it looks like. Although I'll show it to you in the video. That's what it looks like. Dried noodles. That's what it looks like. <laughs> so you have to be really careful on what kind of sea moss you buy because apparently there is fake sea moss out there. And I, I don't think it's like plastic or anything. I think what it means, what the fake sea moss is, I think it's uh, farm grown instead of grown in St. Lucius or... Um, um, the Caribbean, uh, that is St. Lucius, isn't it? Anyway, um, yeah, so you want it to be, to come from a good source. And this does, this one comes from St. Lucius. And it's uh, Organics Nature, wild, uh, raw, wild, crafted, gold sea moss. So, yeah. Um, I bought a new ring light. I gave my ring light to my sister and then I realized when I went to do a tutorial that I needed a ring light and I bought this and I think this one's for makeup tutorials or something because um, it's got a mirror on it <laughs> and uh, yeah it's it and it come goes up and then it's got your cell phone thing that you put here so I think it's made basically for when you're doing makeup tutorials. So this month is not only Christmas and July fairies, which I will put that link up if you haven't 
cl clicked on my Christmas in July fairies link or video. I'll put that link here. Um, go check it out. Make a comment in there and you will be in the running, in the running, in the, in the race for uh, July 15th drawing for the um, semi prize winner to the big grand prize that Dana is doing. Um, but anyways, this is also my vlogiversary month, my three year vlogiversary. Really? Like, holy cow. There's actually quite a few of us that have their vlogiversary this month. Mine is at the end of the month. I think it's around the 26th or 27th. Um, and then I went full bore doing vlogist um, to get my channel up and going and running. So this month, uh, at the on my on my vlog anniversary date, I will be doing a video and I will be doing a big giveaway, big giveaway. I will be doing three prizes for each and every year that I'm I'm on YouTube. So I just wanted to share with you what I'm giving away. Just give you a sneak peek. So I decided that uh, I would look on the Hirschner site. Hirschner's just happened to have all these kits, blanket kits. So I picked up three. Actually, I picked up four. But anyway, um, this one is... This one's called Pink Paradise Afghan. Oh, there we go. Isn't that pretty? So it comes with the pattern and it comes with all the yarn. Isn't that pretty? So that's number one. Oops. And it comes in this little carrying case, which is really cute. Isn't that cute? So that's the first one. And the second one is, of course, it has my name in it. I had to pick it. The Sandy Shores Afghan. Whoop. Isn't that nice? Now, the thing that kind of confused me is I don't think that the yarn, actually I know, the yarn that made this one is not the yarn that it came with. Because that's got pink in it, you can tell. But it came with all browns. So, I'm a little confused on that. So, yeah. But, there, there you go. There's the second one. And the third one is the Ocean Waves Afghan. Isn't that pretty? And that came with all the blues. Isn't that pretty? I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So those are the three Afghans that are going in a giveaway. Whoops. Or in the giveaway at the end of the month. And then I picked up one for myself that I've been looking at for quite a while. Quite a while. And I've been humming and hawing and humming and hawing and thinking, oh, should I do it? I don't know. Should I do it? I'm not one for um, doing it crazy stitches and stuff but this one looked like it was going to be pretty oh really that can't be oh no it's a knit pattern i'm so devastated you guys oh no it's called Sunset Drama Afghan. Look at it. 
Isn't it beautiful? And right there it says knit. <sighs> I am so bummed. You got it. Yeah, it's a knit pattern, all right. I'm going to go on Hirschner's site and see if they have a crochet one. But, oh, that's a bummer. Oh, look at the yarn, you guys. Isn't it pretty? If I can't find a crochet pattern, I may end up having to put this in the giveaway too. Uh, wow. Devastation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, it's a win either way, I guess, because maybe a knitter out there would get it, right? Maybe what I'll do is I'll switch the pattern, that brown pattern that's actually not the right yarn. Maybe what I'll do is switch that out and put, put this one in. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, anyways, so I guess that's it, you guys. That's all I have to tell you. Stay safe out there and um, stay cool. It's, I think it's going to be a brutal summer this year. It's like really hot and there's so many people that are just not faring well with this. So stay safe, stay hydrated, stay cool, stay out of the sun as much as you can. Okay. So I'm having a hot flash now. Why? I don't know. Cause I think I've finished all my hot flashes, but I'm starting to sweat really bad. So I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. One more thing. I totally forgot. Sue Bigger. She was my um, pain pack giveaway winner. I still need you to email me, darling, because I need to know where to send this to. Uh, I, I saw that you made a comment on the video feed, but I haven't gotten an email from you with your address yet. So please contact me so I can get this out to you. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.